Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I am having a little look at Prism. It is another style transfer program and in the about section we have it is high resolution style transfer in PyTorch with color control and mixed precision. And there we have the installation instructions. So just digging in to a little bit more detail here. Uh, the environment I am using is of course Ubuntu 2004 and I have an NVIDIA RTX 3090 with the NVIDIA drivers and CUDA Toolkit 11.3 for my GPU acceleration. I am using Anaconda. There is Anaconda. You can click download and uh, there's Windows and Linux and you can download both of those, either of those, whichever operating system you've got, download it, install it. There you go. Anaconda Individual Edition and you can now create virtual Python environments just like me. Excellent. And uh, inside these virtual environments, I am using PyTorch. And there, again, links down in the description, PyTorch. So stable, 1.8.1, .1, Linux, pip, Python, Coda 11, copy and paste that, and you have installed PyTorch. There it is. There it is there. Only takes a few seconds. So I already have created my uh, virtual environment, but if you want to create one of your very own, there is the command. Conda create minus minus name, whatever you want to call your environment. And I am using Python 3.9. I am using my big sleep environment here. Conda activate big sleep because that is PyTorch as well. So not very much to install uh, apart from Prism itself. So there we go. So you've installed PyTorch just like me already. You have your Conda environment activated, paste, pip install prism, and away it goes. I, of course, already have it installed, so it has absolutely everything already satisfied. There you go. Already satisfied. Everything there. So now you can run it. Or the other option is, if you don't want to install it locally, there is, of course, a Google Colab notebook link there as well. Oh, look at that. So there you go. If you want to run it on Google's computers instead, then there you are. So that will run the pip install on their computers and you can see all through this web interface what is going on. You want to change the images there, you can, and that'll do the style transfer and you will get some output very much like that. And of course, if you want to fine tune it to high resolution, then you can as well. Also gives you all the stuff to instantiate style transfer objects in Python as well. So all sorts of things you can play with there in the Google Colab notebook. I, of course, um, installing locally, locally like you just saw and uh, so we'll be running these examples down here so there it has the minimal style transfer example so if you run that let's copy and paste that in so this just takes the two default images they've got in there images content and images style in that images directory runs the style transfer on the two and this will take a few seconds should see some iterations pop up a little bit like this there we go so just to show you the images, here are the images. So there's the content image. And then we've got the style image. Let's put that over there. There you go. So we should get a, a quite painty one like you've seen already. So let's let's paint the outside world. There we go. Let's just close that. And we have our artwork there. So there you go. There's there's the little tiny one. There's the small one, the small version of it. Excellent. Yeah, there we go. So that, that looks quite nice. So that's that's the little test run. That shows you that everything works. So now you can start doing all, all your proper runs, so to speak, with all your all your options and whatever you want to use. So for me, I am using basically just using AMP. That's that's pretty much the only extra option so far that I've uh, I've wanted to play with too much, uh, as everything has come out looking pretty good, looking pretty good. I've up some iterations a bit as well. And uh, played with the learning rate, but everything seems seems okay uh, on default. You also have the content weight and style weight as well. So if you want to want to be stronger than the other, that's that's the option you got in there. All the other standard things like uh, AVG pooling and uh, preserving colors as well. So if you want to keep the colors of the uh, you know the content image, that's that's fine. So there you go. Weights, devices, GPU, of course. Use AMP, Optim CPU quality, logging, all sorts of options you can play with. So let's have a look at making one of these high resolution, shall we? Because that's that's one of the main things in this. So basically to be to do the high resolution stuff, you're gonna run it you know a couple of times or three times if you want to make it really high resolution. 
So like the first one that we just ran there, so you've got images, content and style. You can run the same sort of thing, but you use that output as the input again. There we go. So we've got uh, now this initial image is the artwork.png. So we're using that one that we just generated, but this time we are upping the area to 1024, but fewer iterations. So last time it was 500, but because we're just making it a little bit bigger, we can do fewer iterations. So let's let's run that through and uh, we should get uh, the, the output that I've already created anyway. So here we go. There we go. Let's just, we'll stop that for now. Here we go. So there you go. There is the high res image. Ooh, ooh, excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. So there you go. Another style transfer program, Prism, high resolution style transfer in PyTorch with color control and mixed precision and lots of options for you to play with. And you can even put it in there. It's a bit of Python code as well. Lovely. Okay, so that's it for now. Very nice, quick and easy one. Rodent out.